Hi, my name is Andreas. I've already explained you on how to set up connections within the CI Hub panel. In this video, I would like to explain you in detail how navigation works. If you want to access one of the other videos, just click on the small i in the panel and you'll be directly linked to the explanations. So let's get started with the navigation and I switch to my laptop. So then let me show you on how to navigate within the CI Hub system. It's actually very easy to do so. I assume you have already set up your connection and now I show you what options for navigation we do have. Navigating within CI Hub is very easy. There is the navigation section. Within the navigation section, you have direct access to all the pre-selected connections. To activate a connection, just go to the connection section, expand it, and whenever you have a blue check mark, that connection is available within the navigation. So now I have activated my Adobe Stock, my corporate Dropbox, my Pixel Box, and my private bo Dropbox. That means within the navigation, I can now access directly all the four connections. I can easily switch between these systems. Let me go to my Dropbox. So you can navigate through your Dropbox by clicking on the folder navigation to do a full text or a search within your Dropbox, start the link panel, use the similarity search, add or delete a folder with these two buttons. If you want to add or delete a folder, that function depends if you have the right in the connected system about that. Just let us use the folder navigation. With the folder navigation, you have two ways. You just click on the breadcrumb. You click on the highest level and you immediately see all the subfolders in your result area. I click on pictures. You see the, pic the subfolders under pictures. And I click on my metadata and here you see the results. My results are all the images and assets within that folder. Or you can search within your Dropbox. Searching is easy. We always support a full text search. If you're not sure on what search terms your system is supporting, just navigate to that small i. If you hover over it, you get a detailed information on how to work with it. The search behaves different in each selected system. Just type in whatever you want to search for. And we have a very comfortable function, so we store all previous searches and you can just reload them. So if you have a common search, just click on it and it will be done. If you don't want to have a pre-recorded search again, just click on the X and it will be deleted from that list. Let us go back to the folder navigation. So in the result pane, you see all the results and how to use the results, just refer to one of the other videos and I explain that in detail. So it's very easy to navigate within the system I hope you enjoyed that video and it helped you. If you have questions, just refer to the other videos. Thanks a lot.